Hello everybody and welcome to another Hunkai Star Rail video. Today I'm going to be doing a player survey. That's right. Uh, after 2.0, the Honkai Star Rail devs would like us to do another survey, so let's uh let's get into it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It was a born. 2000. I would say I'm very satisfied. I think the game is great so far. Actually, I think the game is really good at the moment. Um, I, there's a lot of characters I'm excited for. I'm happy with the state of my account. Um, and there's going to be a video where I talk about my account uh, coming very soon. Um, because I have Max Trailblaze level. I've had it for a while now, but I need to you know make a video where I update the status of my channel now that you know now that i'm there and uh, or not the status of my channel the status of my account so in the past month actually solving the puzzles or mechanisms mostly because there are so many like the three puzzles that are added in um in Panicone four if you want to count the dreamscape but uh th those are all extremely fun I've had a ton of fun with them. In fact, there's a whole event out right now that is just based off of the the new puzzles added to the game, and I had a lot of fun with that event. Um, yeah, that's where you talk to the big eye in the wall, and it gives you so many rewards for such little effort, to be honest. Um, other than that, I would say exploration has been really fun, just because Penacone is brand new. Um, the lore was kind of neat. I kind of liked, um, I liked finding out about Sam. It's a shame what happened to a specific character. I won't do a spoiler to, um, but I really like a lot of the Pentacone characters, right? And I'm pulling for Sparkle. Um, and Black Swan is hot as fuck. I mean, come on, let's just say it. I'm like collecting things in the game and accumulating achievements. Yeah. I've always just liked the strategy of the, you know, of the combat of Honk SRL, building teams, building, you know, putting all that together. It's it's fun. It's fun for me. Um yeah, for sure, growing stronger, or at least growing new characters stronger. Uh, huh. What do you think about the available about current, current version of the game? Um, I would say too little. Always say too little. If you say too much, that is like the complete opposite direction we want to go in. Um, I would say. In my opinion, there is always too low. Almost. Um, I like a game with an almost infinite playability. Almost infinite, at least. Um, to be fair, Raid Shadow Legends has probably too much. To be honest. Um, how much time and effort do you feel you're putting in for the current version of the game? I feel like... About right. I'm really happy with the game. I'm really happy with making content about the game. I'm having a lot of fun with that. Whoops. So, yeah. So percentage of time taken up by Honkai Star out of the time you spent gaming in the past month? Probably 20 to 40%. Um, it, at least, maybe not actually directly playing the game, but that too. But I mean, um, as a content creator making content for the game, I would consider that, you know, out of my time spent in the past month, I would say a decent amount of it's gone to creating content about the game and, and playing the game and thinking about the game, things like that. What do you usually experience in Honkai Star Rail's daily missions, material raids, and relic raids? Um, when, oh, when do I usually experience? Um, pro I would say more so during leisure time at night. Um, oh, I can pick multiple. That's, that is good. That's good. Um, I, Select all that apply. Uh, I would say definitely that. 
Uh, I don't really do it while I'm eating. Um, yeah, I'd say just during leisure time or between doing during breaks at work and stuff. When do you usually experience Honkai Star Rail's new missions, events, and end game modes or end game modes? Um, same thing. Same thing. I mean, I don't. Yeah. What kind of content are you looking forward to in the future, Honkai Star Rail? What am I looking forward to in the future? I hope that there is more competition. I would honestly, even though I'm a pay not a lot to play, um, I'm like a battle pass and a daily login reward, uh, daily gem guy, um, and that's pretty much it. I would still like some competition in the game. I would like some sort of PvP. Uh, they could balance it around like, uh, I would like the idea of like two different kinds of PvP, one where you can use your characters and beat people over the head with your wallet if you want to, or or a, a mode, um, a separate one where you use trial characters, right? Uh, yeah, that's one where if you have both modes and both of them give similar rewards, same rewards, right? Uh, the people who smack people over the head with their wallet would have a lot of fun but have most of their fun in the one mode and then the people who are free to play stuff like that they would have fun in the other version of the mode where you use trial characters so everyone kind of has their cake eats it um and has fun and gets free rewards so it's fun um yeah plus it's nice it'd be cool to know how characters stack up against other characters in terms of straight on head to head I think that's really cool. That adds a whole new aspect to the game. Um, I think Vulcan is a guy who really wants uh, PvP added. Um, he's a he's a big fan of that ever being hap uh, of that ever being added. So I'm gonna I'm gonna agree with him. Exploration. Um, I actually do like exploring Honkai Star Rail. I think it's actually in a way it gives me some peace of mind. To know that the game doesn't have like super open world, like you have to do 20 minutes of walking to explore unknown slash hidden content. No, it's it's never like that at all. It's just check around the corners. You know, you might see something cool. There's a boss fight, and then behind him is a big chest. You might find a trotter while you're walking around, and then you can defeat it to get extra rewards, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I think the way that the game does exploration now is really good. And I, I think on average, there's a lot more chests in the newer zones that they're adding rather than the ones that were around at release, right? And even some of the ones that came in like 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, things like that. Uh, growing stronger for sure. Although, I mean, I'm looking forward to growing my account stronger in the future, but I don't want them. I would hope that they don't take this as a way like, oh, we need to add an even another like another way to power up your characters so that they can, you know, you know, further work for people to do, further farming for people's already maxed out characters, right? I think once you have a character, once you get them extremely well built, unless you're going for like an uh, a niche build or a wild build or a different build with a new relic set that's added in the future, I think that you should be able to just smile and be like, wow, this character is complete i don't have to deal with that any or i don't have to uh spend time farming for them specifically anymore i can worry about i can put all that time into farming for the next character that um you know adds more different kinds of things that i can do with my character so yeah um i'm not a super big collector i would say uh strategy for sure strategy um Maybe, yeah, maybe my version of growth is just strategy, right? But, uh, you know, growth towards strategy. Yeah, I feel like they work hand in hand. Uh, I'm not a huge story guy, right? I wouldn't mind if there was just no story, but every patch they released something new, like something new and fun that just gave us free seller jades, like, 
maybe not go to no story, but just like, you know, I think the story is important to have in the game. It gives you kind of an idea of how the characters are, but I'm not a big story guy, right? If the game is really good and the gameplay is good and there's stuff for me to do in it, I will play it whether it has a single ounce of story or not. So I'm not going to put story for that reason. Uh, the puzzles were cool. I actually think that, you know, I am looking forward to those in the future. Um, I don't want them to go overboard with puzzles. I think that the amount that you had to do puzzles in the MSQ was actually really, really good. A really, really good ratio. And then if you wanted to do even more puzzles, there's a whole event built around it. And that is really fun, really fast and easy to do. So, yeah, that's what I liked. Mobile phone for sure. I use that and I use PC. Those are the only things that I use. Which type of games have you played on mobile slash tablet devices? Um, Monkai Star Wars is really the only one, guys. Um, I've played, no, not turn-based RPGs. I thought that was just turn-based. Um, yeah, I don't play Wild Rift, really, even though I play League. Um, okay. This has Raid in it. I guess turn-based RPGs because that Monkai Star Wars is that, right? I was right. Um, I've played Hearthstone. I, I definitely in the past year for sure. Yeah, I play Hearthstone Battlegrounds. I get into it for a few weeks or months every so often. And then that's really it. So I would say that's pretty much it. Just Hearthstone Battlegrounds um, and my gotchas. Like I've tried uh, Dragon, Dragonair, Silent Gods. I think that game is not bad. I really hate the fact that I log in and uh, I logged in and they reset all my characters to zero. I didn't know they were doing seasonal resets. I think that in a gotcha where the whole the whole gameplay loop is like leveling up your character. I just thought it was so lame. Like imagine, right? Imagine every Okay, imagine for 2.0, right? They reset every single Honkai Star Rail character that you have to E0, took all your gear off of them, and set them back to level 1. They don't have any of their ascensions. All your light cones went back to level 1. Are we joking? No way, man. That really killed the game for me. That literally one shot the game for me. PC, this one's going to be something. So for sure, I play like literally every kind of game on PC. Let's be honest. I play League. Um, I've played a lot of MMORPGs. I played uh, New World. I've played WoW, WoW Retail and um, Ascension WoW, which is a, like a private server. Um, I've played Honkai Star Rail, so it's the turn-based RPGs, which is also um, covers, in a way, all open-world games for sure. Yep, that's a lot of MMORPGs are open-world games, um, along with things like Wizard 101, Pirate 101. I played those. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Shooters, yeah, I've played Valo probably in the past year, I would assume. I actually have played the Civ series. Um, there's that. Action RPGs. Okay, that would be like the Dark Souls series, things like that, Sekiro. So, I, I have played Elden Ring in the past. I mean, like, I'll just, I'll give myself the dub. I played it for like an hour. Not because I didn't like it, or some Battlegrounds for sure. Um, not because I didn't like it, just because, like, I have to be in a very specific mood. If I'm going to play a single player game and that mood comes around once every like 500 years, you know, uh, casual puzzle game, not really sandbox games. I do play a lot of survival games, um, like build building survival games. So since Minecraft was there, I'll, I'll put that there. Um, which of the following games have you played in the past year? League, Baldur's Gate, Valorant. Yep. Wow. Dota 2. I played them all. 
Where's the uh here's the Heroes of the Storm? Which of the following games have you played for more than a month? Lamau? More than a month. Yikes. This is literally I'm telling you guys, this is my only Why don't so like why don't they have raid here? <laughs> you know what I mean? These are clearly all gotcha games. They don't have raid here, and they don't have I mean I see definitely most Pretty much all of these have like an anime theming. Um, they don't have Raid here, and they also don't have Dragonair here. But yeah, none of the above for those games. You have any further comments of suge or suggestions? Um, love the game. In creating con. Love the game. Okay. Is a while one word? Or I think, I mean, oh, it shouldn't matter. Been creating content on it for a while. Well, since release, just keep up the good work. And please don't ever slow down or make the game baby mode like gen gen <laughs> uh i was going for the um the kind of like the, the cringe like yikes face um cuz i mentioned genshin uh this one. Grimacing face. All right, there we go. We even gave them some emojis. Keep, just keep up the good work and please don't ever slow down and make the game baby mode like engine. That caveat should always be there, right? Never. If you make them feel like they've done enough, the game will have a much higher likelihood of becoming much like Genshin, where it'll slow down, the content will stop coming in, the good content at least, that they've added every patch. The QOLs, the QOL patches will stop coming, you know. The things that are good for the game, the things that are healthy for the game, the lifeblood of the game, will stop coming, right? Because they'll be like, oh, we've done enough. Let's just add a little bit of story, some events, and then um, sit back. Oh, let's nerf that boss. They were complaining about it. It was a little too strong. Let's just nerf it. Oh, now everybody can do it. It doesn't even matter. Like what you, oh, uh, hey, that's inclusive. That, that's inclusivity. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want the game to become like that, guys. We don't want the game to become like that. So. Um. Give the Honkai Star Rail devs their flowers, but always keep your hand on them as well. You know, just in case we have to yank them away for a little bit. Okay? Because it's, it's, the, it's the reality of the modern day. You have to keep game devs on their toes, right? Because, you know, that's just how it is. But anyway, thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like the video. If you dislike it, dislike it. I hope you guys also are giving these devs feedback. They've been doing a wonderful, amazing job, and I hope that the, the train never stops, right? I hope that the train never stops. So, peace. Subscribe.